All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, one of the things that's going to happen to you this year is that this class is going to be run a lot differently uh, than for most people, uh, any class that you've ever had, and probably the first time you've ever had a math class run like this. And the main difference is, is that we're going to do something that's called flipping the classroom this year. Okay, now what is a flipped class? Uh, it's really a very simple concept. Um, one of the things you have to realize is whether or not you have been doing work uh, at home or outside of class or anything like that, whether your math teachers have ever been requiring you to do work outside of class is really not the point. Uh, what we're going to be looking at this year is in order to be successful in high school classes, high school math classes in particular, it's going to take some effort on, on your part outside of the classroom. It is simply impossible for us to cover everything that needs to be covered, talk about everything that needs to be talked about, look at all the examples that we need to look at, and practice all of the things that needed to be practiced in a 47-minute time span. And that's what we have from bell to bell. That is simply not enough time in order for us to be successful at the level we need to be successful at. Okay, so typically what you've been doing uh, in your classes and in your math classes in particular is you come to class and you take notes. The teacher goes over things, talks about definitions, talks about theorems, talks about formulas. You sit there and you spend your time in class writing these things down. Hopefully the teacher then gets to some examples. Hopefully you get to pay attention to some of that. But again, in large part, you're spending the majority of your time simply writing down the, thing, the things that the teacher is talking about, and that leaves you very little time in class to be doing the work that you're actually required to be able to do. Okay, that sends you home in, in order to work questions. And while you're at home, of course, you don't have the teacher there. You don't get to ask those questions. It is up to you to then come in, spend some time in tutorials, hopefully uh, in order to learn that stuff. Flipping the classroom is basically going to reassign some of that time. Okay, you are still going to be spending your 47 minutes in class, and you're still going to be spending some time outside of class. But we're going to rearrange the the uh, particulars of when or what you're doing in class and what you're doing outside of class. So here's the way it's going to be. Okay, traditional math classes, you take notes in class, you work examples in class, you practice uh, problems at home, and then you do extra whatever that may be, uh, reworking assignments, studying. Uh, tutorials, all that stuff happens at home or away from class time. A flipped math class, here's what's going to happen. You're still going to get notes, but those notes are going to happen at home. You're going to spend that time at home taking notes. You're going to work some examples in class. You're going to practice problems in class, and then you're still going to have some of that extra time at home, finishing up homework assignments, uh, studying, coming to tutorials, things that happen outside of class. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to look at this, uh, this flipped idea. How do we actually do some of these things at home, and how is that really going to help us? Okay, guys, taking notes, you don't particularly need a teacher in order to take notes. Okay, that is simply writing down important information, uh, getting definitions uh, copied down, things that we're supposed to know, getting formulas copied down, things that we're supposed to know, stuff like that. You really don't need a teacher in order to do that. Okay, so we're going to be doing that at home. Now the question becomes, how do I, how on earth am I supposed to take notes at home? Nobody's there. Nobody's going to tell me what it is that I'm supposed to write down. Well, let me tell you what it is that I do. Okay, for the last school year, basically what I did is I recorded a digital uh, recording of what I did in class. So when I was giving notes to the students, okay, I was talking about the definitions, I was talking about the theorems, talking about the formulas, all that kind of stuff. I recorded all of that and I posted it on the internet. And the reason I did that was for anybody who happened to be absent or maybe if you just, you mess something up in your notes or you, you managed not to write something down that you should have and you needed to go back and review, well, you had that information at your fingertips. All you had to do was pull out your smartphone smartphone, get on a computer, and you could look that stuff up, watch that video, and get 
whatever it was you missed. I am still going to do that. The difference is I'm not going to do that during class time. That recording is going to be made available to you before class actually happens, and it will be your homework to watch the video, to take notes on the video, and then bring those notes with you to class the following day. And essentially, that becomes your quote-unquote homework. Okay, all lessons are going to be video recorded in advance and posted to a website that's called Edmodo. And if you're not familiar with Edmodo, we'll get to that here in a little bit. Okay, each night, students are required to go to edmodo.com, access the video for the next day's class, watch it, listen to it, take notes on it, rewind it and watch it again, pause it if you need to so you have extra time, and uh, come, you know, formulate any questions about it, things that are question marks in your head. I don't understand what he just said. I don't understand what that means. Or he said something goofy, and I didn't quite grasp that. Then you come in the next morning during tutorial times and say, hey, what was the deal on this particular part of the notes right there? And I can help you. Okay, You're going to receive a grade in class based upon your notes being completed completed each day as required. When we come into class, that's going to be one of our first uh, deals. If we have anything due, I'm going to say, hey, get that paper out. I'm going to come around, pick it up, and I'm going to say, hey, you had notes last night. Get those notes out. I'm going to come around and have a look. You're going to be graded on that because essentially that is assigned work, just like a homework, and if you're not doing that, then you don't deserve the grade uh, for, for getting it done. Okay. Now back to Edmodo here. Okay, um, what is Edmodo? Edmodo.com is a free educational website that teachers can post information, lessons, and documents. Okay, they'll be stored online for students to access anytime you need. Video lessons there, uh, posted there, are going to redirect you to a private YouTube site, and the video will play on any smartphone or tablet or PC. Guys, this is exactly what I did all last year. I recorded lessons and I posted them on the internet. Okay, if ever you missed a class for whatever reason, whether it just be you're ill or you've got an athletic thing or or, you know, Avid is out of town or something like that. Okay, I, I get you. Okay, there's going to be a lot of reasons for you to miss class. But when you do miss class, it was it's on you in order to find out the material that you missed. All that material, including the worksheets that we do, uh, any announcements, uh, things like that. There's a message board on there. It's going to be posted to Edmodo. So you are going to have basically 24-7 access to everything that's going on in class, even if you are not in class. What if I don't have a computer or internet or a smartphone or a printer, et cetera, at home? Okay, guys, this is not going to be an explanation of anything. These days, technology is coming out of our ears, okay, and most of us are running around with a smartphone in our pocket, okay? you have access to these things. Now, if for some reason you do not have a computer that has internet access at home, or you do not have a smartphone, whatever the case may be, folks, we have a library. The library is open in the morning. It is open during your lunch period. It is open after school. All you have to do is walk down there, get on a computer, do what needs to be done, get it taken care of. Okay, so we have the technology. All you need to do is make that happen. Okay. Uh, on Edmodo, you can print any documents that you want, okay, but, but you can always just look at them and write them down if you need. Printing is not necessary. So if you leave your homework at school, uh, homework paper, or there's a worksheet that you need or whatever, you can always pull it up on Edmodo. Okay. It's not going to be an issue where somebody says, you know, oh, I don't have a printer, so I couldn't print that. You don't have to print it. If you need a worksheet and you don't have that thing, all you have to do is look and you know, read the instructions on the, on the computer screen. Read question number one on the computer screen, and then you can simply work it out on your paper. So you don't have to copy down diagrams and all that kind of stuff unless it is essential to the problem that you're trying to work. Okay. Next question, do I have to use Edmodo? Absolutely you do. Okay, every one of you, I'm going to show you how. You're going to go to Edmodo. You're going to enter a, a code that goes along with the class that you happen to be in. Everybody is going to register on this thing. It is a free thing. But this is where the lessons that you're responsible for taking notes for are going to be located. This is where you can get copies of missing worksheets. If you've lost yours, this is where you will go to keep up with the class if you're absent for any reason. This is where announcements and important information for the class will appear. This is an, an oh, by the way, here's a website you can go to 
if you feel like it. Guys, I'm telling you, one of your assignments is going to be you're going to go home, you're going to get registered on Edmodo, and if you do it, you get an easy 100. If you don't, you're going to start off your year with a zero average. That's not a good way to start your year, especially for something so easy to do. It is free, it costs nothing, and this is going to be a direct line of communication between you and me, whether you're in class or not at, not in class, whatever the case may be, Edmodo is how we are going to function in this class. So get used to it, and let's just let's just get to it. Uh, how do you get on Edmodo? It's really very simple. There's a website. You've got it there on your paper, ecisd.edmodo.com. It is a secure website, so it's HTTPS. Uh, if you already have an account, I know some of you have teachers who have used the Edmodo in the past. If you're in my classes last year, then you used Edmodo in the past. You should already have an account. Okay, so if you if you have, all you have to do is go on to your uh, go to the account. You're going to enter the group code for geometry and for algebra two. Okay, if you do not have an account, that's fine. You click on when it comes to the main screen. You click on I'm a student. Follow the instructions. Okay, your parents also they can go on there. Okay, I'm going to have a bunch of parents signed up. They can click on I'm a parent. They enter their information, and basically they'll be able to follow along with exactly what's going on in the class just like you will. Okay, when you do your username and your password, you can pick any, uh, any password and all that kind of stuff that you want. Okay, but on the, uh, the where it comes to entering your name, you got to use your correct first name and your correct last name. Otherwise, you will be deleted from the group, and that is a district thing. That's not my thing. Okay, anybody that's not recognized in the class cannot show up on Edmodo unless it's a parent. Then we got to know uh, which student the parent is attached to. Okay, so there you go. That's what's going to happen. Flipping the class, you're going to take notes at home. You're going to walk in the next day with your notes already completed so that we can then spend our class time doing better things, working examples together, having some time for you to go into your problems with me here so you can ask questions. Okay, You don't need me at home to answer questions about notes. You do need me at home to answer questions about problems. So if we flip the classroom, okay, notes happen at home where you don't really need me. The practice happens at school where you absolutely need me, and that's what flipping the class is going to be like.